what's up lavish ladies it's your girl lavish Laisha. so today we're gonna be talking about something very very serious but first before i get into everything i just want to do a little self promo so give me one second okay y'all uh, so first i'm gonna start off with this since i'm wearing it so this right here is my stoned headband it is $13.99 shipping is $5.99 and if you purchase on Friday you can get your discount I'm now doing flash sale Fridays so you can get your discount on Fridays I have these in gold which is currently on my head silver and multicolor still in stock i also have black as well these are two different styles of lashes that i offer on my website i also have tons of other ones as well Any pair of lashes is only $3. Satin edge wraps, wax sticks, along with our lavishly laced glue. This glue lasts a very long time. I've done workouts with it and it still lasted for like an entire week with me even with me working out I have closures frontal bundles of all limbs textures this right here currently in my head is a 20 inch closure 22 24 26 28 loose weight bundles and we also have 613 added to the collection as well but enough of that <laughs> it's time to get into what y'all came for by the title so i had and if you see stuff in the back this is my inventory because i was working on that first so yeah um first and foremost i was just dealing with relationship issues on top of family stuff and then the icebreaker was my friend passing away and that was the first time that i experienced losing somebody that i was really it was the first friend I lost, basically. That's what I'm going to say. It was the first friend I ever lost. Um, and anybody that knows him <laughs> knows that he is crazy. So, just about everybody that knew him didn't take it well. And for me, I was away at college. I was trying to get myself on track at this time and I just couldn't. I would be in my room by myself 24-7, not talking to anybody. So that was causing me to be more sad, more depressed. And I started failing. I would try to do my work and stuff. I would go to class, 
and everything. And I would even go to tutoring. And it's just like I would be there, but I wouldn't. Mentally, I would not be there. I would be, I would wake up out of my sleep. I wake up out of my sleep at night, sometimes close to when he first passed. I wake up out of my sleep. I would have dreams about him. Or I would think that I heard his voice or something in my room. Because most of the time, I, I was in my room by myself. My roommate rarely stayed there. So, I would spend a lot of nights in my room by myself. So, I would always... It was just dreams about him and stuff like that. When it was close to his birthday, I had a dream about him the day before his birthday. Keep in mind, at this time, at this time, I had forgot, you know, I wasn't thinking about his birthday. Time had passed. I wasn't thinking about his birthday. And then the night before his birthday, I had a dream about him. And I was like, what? And I was like, because I had multiple dreams. And so when I woke up, I looked at social media, and what do I see? Heck a post about him saying happy birthday to him and his twin brother. And so I was just like, oh, my God. I was like, oh, my God. And I was happy because I'm the type that I truly do believe in, in your loved one's spirits still being around. I feel like when you have dreams about them and stuff, I truly feel like that's them coming to you. Um, I truly believe in stuff like that. And so I feel like that was him coming to me because it was so coincidental that the night before I have a dream about him. And then I wake up just to be reminded that it was his birthday. So that's what happened. Um, yeah, so I started failing. I was taking it really, really hard. I'm doing a lot better now. Um, I just pray that his soul is at peace. So I'm dealing with it a lot better. I still miss him tremendously. I still think about him. Certain songs come on and I turn. Um, But he's just a great person. So it's just like I know he won't want none of his friends or nobody to be sitting down here crying every day. Um, yeah, so that was the icebreaker. Um, after that, it was time for spring break. For spring break, I went and stayed with my grandmother. Um, and that's when we was on spring break and the pandemic came about. And so at this time, um, they had extended our break. Little did we know we weren't going to ever be going back. <laughs> so, so at this point, um, they switched it to Zoom class. Now, I wasn't even waking up to do that. It was still was your regular class time. I had 8 a.m. and everything, and I wasn't waking up to do that either. I still was in the whole funk of depression, you know. Um, I was just in a depression stage, like... I still was dealing with that. Um, so it was just a lot. Um, but I still was going to try to go to school at NSU. This is where I realized that I couldn't do it. Um, so I, I went ahead and I scheduled my classes. I was supposed to be taking some classes over the summer and stuff like that. Trying to get me back on track. Um, but when I talked to my mom, she found out what I was dealing with. She told me to get into counseling, which I did start back. I stopped now, but at that time I did start back because I really needed it. Um, and she told me like, you know, if you feel like you should go somewhere closer to home, then that's what you should do. All that matters is, you know, that you finish school. And so at that point, point I was just like yeah like you right you know because it's just like you value your parents opinions and you just don't want to let them down so for her to say it was okay then I was just like yeah <laughs> yeah I need to go somewhere closer to home <laughs> so at that point I was like it's time for me to find a new school and leave Norfolk State so that's what I did 
I dropped out and yeah I had to leave I talked to my professors that I had at the time and they basically said the same thing she said um that I wasn't going to be doing myself any good to be going to class paying this money to go to these classes and I'm not being able to focus and I'm grieving and stuff she basically said you know start back school once I was ready because you know your mental health is serious and that's what I want everybody to take from this video is very serious and I urge y'all to seek counseling therapy you know talk to somebody get it out because it's not good but yeah that was just an update video because I know I have so many people watching all of my NSC videos I have y'all asking me questions and some of the questions I can't answer because I'm no longer a student there so with that being said that's all for this video I am going to do a second part to it um but I just wanted to let that be known so I won't get as many questions about stuff about NSU because I can't answer I can't answer it for you because I'm no longer there I won't be returning ever so yeah thank y'all for watching um I hope all of my NSU people still continue to watch me and that's it so ladies make sure you stay lavish because you know I will. And I'll see you on the next one.